At first glance, it looks like a large picnic. This rectangular lawn on base filled with hundreds of people. Walking through the crowd, there's a family in beach chairs talking. Against the wall of a building, a young couple stand forehead to forehead, holding each other tightly. This is our very first one. We're first timers, so a little bit nervous, apprehensive, but uh, extremely proud of him. The Apsies drove through the night, 11 hours from Tampa, Florida, to be with their son, Lance Corporal Josh Apsey. He has been a Marine for a little more than a year. He is 18 years old. He had talked about wanting to be a Marine since 9-11. And he was like, you know, 10, 11 years old at the time. So we kind of just thought that he'd grow out of it. And um, But he continually talked about it. He started working towards it. It was a goal of his, and he's exactly where he wanted to be. So as a father, I definitely couldn't be any prouder of him. And he's ready to go. My mother, she got me a journal, and she inserted a few pictures in there. And uh, she's also written me a few letters. And then I have pictures of my girlfriend and letters from her as well. And then I have a Bible that I kind of keep all that in right now. The Bible is his most important keepsake for this first mission overseas. In the last few days, Vicki Apsey paged through that Bible with her son, going over passages from Proverbs and Psalms. One of my favorites has been Psalm 121, Where Does My Help Come From? My help comes from the Lord. They're men, you know, with spirits and souls, and a lot of times we, we lose that aspect, but that's what I bring to the battle is to keep that part in place. That's the battalion's chaplain, Lieutenant Terry Roberts, a Baptist preacher from the hills of Kentucky. This is his fifth deployment. He knows how these farewells unfold. Of course, the buses haven't gotten here yet. When the buses get here, the tears start flowing. The laughter is gone. Families that stood in relaxed groups now form tight circles. Time is short now. The Marines and their families seemingly don't know what to say to each other, and they won't be in touch again until the Marines reach Afghanistan, and then communication will be hard. Chaplain Roberts is teaching the men how to write letters. You know they have come out with a new machine. It is a one-button text messaging machine. He pulls a ballpoint pen out of his pocket to make his point. So uh, they're all going to have to learn how to write a letter. Finally, the buses arrive. It's time to load gear into the back of a semi. The Marines face each other in two lines, handing down one to another the olive green duffel bags that have been piled nearby. Roll call, the Marines line up. And with a name that begins with A, Lance Corporal Josh Apsey is one of the first in line. You know your angels will be watching over him, God. And I just pray, Lord, that you use him according to your purposes. They wave to each other through the window. The buses start rolling, and then they're gone. There's clapping and crying, and before the caravan has rounded the corner, families shuffle off to their cars. A handful of Marines comb the now empty rectangular lawn, picking up trash and preparing the same patch of grass for the next crowd of families who will gather outside the headquarters of America's battalion to say goodbye. For NPR News, I'm Katherine Welch.